ovarian cyst, they are fluid filled sac on the ovary. They are very common and usually they do not have any symptoms. That means any woman that have ovarian cyst, they are not to have any symptoms. Ovarian cyst, it can resolve naturally on its own some weeks without any medical or surgical intervention. And there are two types of ovarian cysts, the functional ovarian cyst and pathological ovarian cyst. If you are new to this channel, you are highly welcome. Don't forget to press the subscription button and press the notification bell. And if you are a returning subscriber, you are highly welcome. The functional ovarian cyst, it is the commonest cause of ovarian cyst. And they are short-lived, they are harmless. They can resolve on its own some months without any medical and surgical intervention. And women who have this functional ovarian cyst may not know that they have functional ovarian cyst and it can resolve, it can go away on its own without any medical or surgical intervention. Pathological ovarian cyst, it is due to abnormal cell growth. Causes of ovarian cysts. There are so many causes of ovarian cysts which include ovulation, endometriosis, pelvic inflammatory disease, pregnancy, abnormal cell growth, and so many others. Ovulation. Before ovulation, one follicle will be released and the follicle will become bigger than others. Then it will be broken to release an egg. But in a situation of ovarian cyst, the follicle will also be released. It will be bigger than others, but it will fail to break to release the egg. That means it will then cause a cyst in the ovary. The second one, which is endometriosis. Endometriosis, it is when the inner lining of the womb is found outside the womb. And it can also be found in between the muscles in the womb. When it is found in between muscles of the womb, it will be called adenomyosis. And the cause of endometriosis is unknown. What is known is that it has a strong genetic association. That means if your first degree relative have endometriosis, you might develop endometriosis. It can also be found on the tube. When endometriosis is found on the tube, it can cause carrying of the tube and it can progress to the ovaries. Then when it is on the ovaries, it is called endometromas and it can cause infertility. The next point is pelvic inflammatory disease. Pelvic inflammatory disease, it is when the disease has ascended from your vagina to your uterine cavity, your fallopian tube, and at times to your ovaries. And the common cause of pelvic inflammatory disease is sexual transmitted infection, which is the chlamydia and the gonorrhea. They are the commonest cause of pelvic inflammatory disease. Pelvic inflammatory disease. When you have pelvic inflammatory disease, you will develop a pulse filled cyst. On the ovary or close to the ovary the next point is abnormal cell growth when there is abnormal in the cell growth it can cause pathological ovarian cysts the risk factors of ovarian cysts the first one is age it is more common to people that have started their menstruation it is less common to people that have not menstruated at all and it is also less common to women that have entered monopause the next point is hormonal issue when you have issues that affect your hormones, like PCOS, taking fertility medications like Clomid, which will help you to ovulate, it will increase the chance of having ovarian cysts. The next one is pregnancy. The cyst that you develop during ovulation, it can stay in your ovaries during and after pregnancy, throughout the pregnancy. Previous history of ovarian cysts. When you had ovarian cysts before, it can reoccur. Signs and symptoms of ovarian cysts, we said earlier before that women, people that have ovarian cysts, they're likely not to experience any signs and symptoms. But for them to experience signs and symptoms, that means that the cyst might be very large or it is blocking the blood supply to the ovary. Some of the symptoms include severe pelvic pain, pain during sexual intercourse, frequent urination, difficulty in defecating, heavy menstrual bleeding, irregular bleeding then treatment of ovarian cysts the first symptom is palliative care or watchful waiting it is when the doctor is observing the woman that have ovarian cysts without taking any immediate decision without giving the woman any immediate surgical or medical intervention when the doctor is watching on the woman that have ovarian cysts to know if the ovarian cysts can go on its own within a short period of time the second point is 
medication. If you experience severe pain due to ovarian cysts, your doctor can prescribe some pain medication for you to relieve the pain. They can also prescribe some hormonal pills for you. The last one is surgery. Surgery can be done. Your doctor can decide to do surgery in a rare case if the cyst is very large or if it is blocking the blood supply to the ovaries. Surgeries can be done to prevent the reoccurrence of it. If you find this video helpful, educating and interesting, please don't forget to press the subscription button, press the notification bell so that you will not miss content like this whenever I upload. And try to share, like, share to your friends, to your family, like, then comment. Thank you. See you in my next video. Bye.